Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid and welcome to Disc 2. This is the first thing that came up when I inserted Disc 2, so let's see where this goes. Straight up down down the stairs. Something tells me I can probably go back to anywhere that I've been before. It's just now all the cutscenes that are going to happen from here on out will be on this disc. And yes, I do see this guard that's going to show up right in front of me, so that's why I didn't walk through the door yet. I am paying attention. So we're in a whole new area, so let's check it out. Kind of excited to see where this leads. The story was getting really good last episode, too. Well, at least I should say the act, the things that happened in the last episode were really good. Anything down here that's worth coming to get? Stun grenades? Eh, I guess that's worth it. A little bit, I guess. Alright, let's see if we can, like, use our use something to our advantage to get this guy to come to us. Like, if I knock on that, he'll come over here. And then we'll run. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, crap. Where am I going? Wait, where am I supposed to go? Crap. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Uh, crap. Uh, crap. Um... I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here. Am I supposed to do something with that thing? Crap, 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 crap. Crap, 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 crap. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to fucking do. Okay, I'm not even kidding right now. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Hold on. Is that an elevator? Holy crap. I don't know how the fuck that guy didn't see me. Where am I supposed to go? I thought I was supposed to go across there. Maybe not? Maybe I'm tripping? Oh, can we edge? Oh. Well, that just sucks. First of all, I didn't know you could edge along the wall. Second of all, I didn't know you could fall right off if you let go of the damn joystick for like one split second. God damn. Well, we learned that the hard way, didn't we? That's fine. Now that I know how that works, I can be a little bit more careful. Anyway, let's try that again. Let's try that one again. Hurry. Edge. Ed what? 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 How are we supposed to do that? Did I do a fuck up again? Man. I get what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to edge. I, I noticed that it was like you could. Ed it looks like you could edge across it, but I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't even know that was an, a possible action in this game. But now that I know. Um. Okay, I'm just going to hold it down. I'm not going to fucking touch the joystick. Gonna go. I'm just gonna keep holding it down. I'm not even fucking let go. Nope. Knocks us off. Okay. So maybe. Maybe I was just getting knocked off by it? Huh. Wow, this is. This is just not even fair to add to my death counter because it's instant death. It's not like I get a chance to, like, not. for this to not happen. Can you duck when you're doing this? That's my next question. Okay, yeah, you can. So just duck. Aha! We've solved the riddle of how to get across. Aha! It only took us three three plus deaths. How many deaths was that? That was three or four. I, I'm, I lost count. What I do know is I got across finally. Fucking A. Uh, get your SOCOM ready. I don't know. Fuck. Is that guy like right in front of me? Oh, he's going down the stairs in front of me, I see. All right. Oh crap! He's coming back up though. He's coming back up. Crap! 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 As long as he doesn't come this way, I'm I'm in the safe spot, I guess. So wait, what's? Fucking ah! Stop it! Controller, cut it out. All right. I'm trying to look over there, see what's down there. We probably want to go down there. I just hope he doesn't come this direction. 
don't know, we probably want to go both ways, actually. So let's go down this way first, I guess. Just to see what's over here. Let's, what do we got? Some SOCOM bullets. Ooh, there's a ration over here that I would like to have. Fuck! Are you kidding me right now? Man! F that. I just wanted my ration. <sighs> wow. Talk about controls that suck my nuts. Oh my god. These controls. This is the part where controls is an issue. Man. Never did I think that controls would actually be like so much of an issue that it would actually kill me because I can't I can't fight with controls so much. But now I'm fighting with the controls to the point where it's killing me and it's just not not cool. Not cool, man. Damn it. I wasn't far enough. Fuck. 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 I don't want to have to count all these, man. But I have to. It's part of the, what I've established with this Let's Play. <sighs> Just, there's got to be a, like a an asterisk on this episode. Like, this episode, deaths are so sad that they shouldn't even count. Oh my god, seriously? Ugh, stupid. Alright, just stay ducked. If it just had like a set pattern, which I think it does, I'm just being a complainer to be honest. Just let it move out of your way. Now go, 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 go. Okay. Safe again. Alright, so what's down? Oh, we couldn't even go that way anyways. Oh yeah, we could. As soon as we get down these stairs, we could actually go that way and go down the stairs. Could you like... Whatever, fine. Be difficult game. If I hurry the fuck up, I need to go up here, go down here and turn around. See what's up here. Nope, so called bullets, nothing good. Keep moving, keep moving. Crap, there's probably another guard down here or not. Thank God. Alright, anything under the stairs? Looks like there's something. Some more famous bullets. Take them. Shit. Is that guard gonna come down here? He better not. Okay, well, we gotta get over there for sure. So we gotta get back up. Crap! It's alright. We'll be able to survive this, I'm sure. I'm not exactly worried. This isn't like the rooms earlier in the game where it was like, if you walk by the fucking door, you'll get fucking destroyed. Or, I mean, if you get caught by a guard, the guard starts shooting and blows the whole room up. It's not like that kind of room. As you can see quickly, we're already in a safe room again. At least for the moment. What do we got in here, though? Looks like a whole lot of nothing in this part. Hmm. This is, uh, this looks like an elevator. I see. An elevator that's gonna take us to the underground. And my sounds laid down by the underground. Drink a bottle, Hennessy, you got on your shelf. Now just let me introduce myself. My name is Humpty, pronounced with an umpty. Oh, ladies, oh, how I'd like to funk thee. And all the rappers in the top ten, please allow me to bump thee. I'm stepping tall, y'all. Just like Humpty Dumpty, you're gonna fall when the stereos bump me. I like to rhyme. I like my beats funky. I'm spunky. I like my oatmeal lumpy. I'm sick with this. Straight against the max. And sometimes I get ridiculous. I'll even blow your crackers in your licorice. Hey, yo, fat girl. Come here. Are you ticklish? Uh-oh. 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 Surrounded again. Why do I always have these close proximity fights? That's not cool, man. Stun grenade. <sighs> okay, throw that. Get out your fucking body armor, like ASAP. ASAP Rock. Where the fuck's my body armor at? There it is. I already threw my stun grenade, I think, so let's bust out that uh, Famous and go to town. I hope these guys are as, are as easy as they're. as the fucking. Are, aren't as difficult as the fuckers that I fought. God damn it. Fuck it. Die, you fucks. That, 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 that's all fucks. Um, 
Hit him with a 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 SOCOM. Oh shit, fuck, I'm about to die. I better use a couple rations. Almost died there. Gotta be careful. Okay, one's down. Shit! Bastard had to hit me with his gun. Bitch. Is he dead yet? Bitch. There we go. Okay, we got them all. Cool. Alright, that wasn't so bad. That could have been a lot worse. It was a lot easier than those fucking invisible guards we had to fight a couple episodes ago. A lot fucking easier. Alright, where is this going to take me besides the underground? It takes me to a jammed area. I hear a camera. Ah! Or it's a gun turret, which is always fun. A fun gun. Well, no reason not to use chaff grenades in here. Okay, that'll get us safe from that gun for at least a moment. So we can look around for a minute. Another elevator room? Double elevator, huh? Oh, fuck my life. Why you got... Why? Just why? That's all I can say. Why you got to put mines... Oh, and I can't even detect them. Which is the worst part. Okay, well, fuck it. Let's just crawl. Crawl like an eagle to the elevator. Crawl like an eagle. Get them items, and you stupid whore. I'm gonna crawl. Oh, man. This is like a true elevator sequence where we actually have to, like, go from elevator to elevator to get underground, huh? Fuck it. Run. Get on that elevator and press the button. Fuck it. Get your weapons ready, bro. Something's gonna happen on this elevator again, I'm sure. I mean, we didn't get through the other elevator unscathed, so why would this elevator be any safer? Come on, something happened. Or not. Why are there birds in here? That's fucking scary as hell. Um, I would like to have my body armor ready. Are these birds, like, trying to piss me off? I'll punch, punch, kick a bird. Don't think I won't, bitch. Oh, God. What? What's happening? Snake. Snake. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. Oh, she's a liar? What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry. The monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about mm -hmm. her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It's all bullshit, right? It was all a big yeah. Fucking liar. What did you say? It was really uh. bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied. She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come Ridiculous. On. Even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja... Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime... Be careful. Now it makes sense that you guys said I did a good job at speculating with the story because Naomi's a fucking liar. Lying ass bitch. Don't worry. We'll get a chance to deal with her, I'm sure. Whether it just be through the phone and get to just piss her off through the phone or thwart her plans overall. Whatever it takes, we'll get, our, we'll get her ass. We will get her ass. Now, is it cold in here or is it just really blue lighted? Like blue lighted. Why are there birds following me? 
Never mind. I just I just hit me. They're ravens, aren't they? Vulcan ravens. Never more. It just hit me why there's ravens down here. I was just about to complain that there, why are there birds in the fucking basement? I mean, I already complained, but I mean, I was about to like seriously just go off on it. But there was really no reason. You know why? Because we still have to kill Vulcan Raven. Speaking of Vulcan Raven, how many pieces of pieces? Um, how many members of Foxhound are left? We got Vulcan Raven. We got Revolver Ocelot. And then what? Isn't that is that it? Did we kill everyone else, or is there one that I don't know about yet? Or I should say, is there one that I haven't learned about? Like, Psycho Mantis dead, Decoy Octopus dead, uh, Sniper Wolf dead, Liquid Snake supposedly dead. I'm not going to hold my breath on that one still. St jury's still out on that one. I haven't seen the dead body yet. But anyways, with any luck, we'll run into Vulcan Raven in this episode. Especially since his ravens are all circling, circling me right now. Figured those birds were gonna do something. The fuck? Is that him? Cossack. It is him. This is the end of the road for you. Holy right, shit. My friends. Run, he's got a minigun. Listen, they agree. They How agree. dare you kill my friends? Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world. That which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? You must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> the Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Well, then it's time to throw down warrior to warrior. This reminds me of the Scarecrow fight from Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham Asylum. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest. But indeed, ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics? What the fuck? Yeah, I know it. <laughs> the World the Eskimo Indian the Olympics. The duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, <laughs> but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. Time to throw down with Vulcan Raven. Fuck, run away. Okay, so what do we use on this fool? I guess we just got to try everything until something happens. Run. Oh, God, the minigun is just going to demolish my ass. I can't even move. Body armor. I can't move. Oh, my God, he killed me already. Fuck. Fuck. I didn't even get a chance to do anything. All right, there's probably... Uh, a lot more to it than what I just tried there. I just got killed instantly. Didn't even get a chance to do anything. Well, we won't take that as a real try, even though I do get a death for that, which sucks. Anyways. Okay, let's let's pick that ration back up that I picked up before I went in that room. That's the only thing I really picked up that I wanted to make sure I keep, the ration. Otherwise, let's try another attempt. You know, let's eat a ration before I go in there, too. I, I could use one. Get the body armor ready. And... I don't think stun grenades are going to work on him, so let's just get a gun ready and hope that a gun will work. We might have to bust out some sort of like weird strategy here, because it looks like it's like a like a block maze. We have to like hide behind walls and shit. So let's let's hope that it's something along those lines. Maybe I gotta like maybe I can use claymore to my advantage. Like lay a claymore down right there, and maybe he'll run into it. You know what I mean? 
I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure what to do yet. I'm just gonna try stuff until something works. Um, let's try regular grenades too. Stinger missile. Oh snap! Claymores work. Oh my god, claymores work. Lay all your claymores. Oh my god, claymores might be the key to fighting this guy. Claymore. Claymore. Just gotta remember where all my claymores are when I lay them down. Claymore. Claymore. Ha! <laughs> claymores are perfect. Shit, run. Oh my god, claymores are beautiful. Go ahead, boy. Come on. Come this way. Yes! Oh my god. Why are claymores so effective? Ah, oh, shit. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Get up. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Woo! Claymores are super effective. Man, never did I think claymores would be so effective. That's awesome. Wow, they're giving me stinger missile ammo in here too? Not sure what that's all about. Wait till he gets hit with another claymore. And then run like a dickens. Oh my god, I can't even believe that the claymores work. That is so amazing. That is so amazing to me. Ah, damn, you can't even let him go and see you at all. Oh shit, don't kill me. Shit, he's gonna kill me. Eat a ration, eat a ration. Uh, bust out the body armor. Shit. How do you get the fuck out of the way, man? He just goes ape shit on your ass if you're not careful. Let's go ahead and get a claymore going right there. What is this? Nikita missile? Huh, I wonder if we can use those in here. Would those work on him in here? Should we try one? Why not? Try a Nikita missile on him. Maybe this is the kind of battle where you literally just have to hit him with anything and everything that you got. Oh, he can blow that shit up, though. You gotta, like, sneak up on him with it. Alright, get the fuck out of the way. Oh, fuck, I blew myself up on my own claymore. Fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. shooting that way so move this way fuck I don't remember where I set all my claymores you can't see your own claymores I think when you set the claymore you should be able to see it that's not fair anyway I'm not gonna get mad about it haha <laughs> where is he I'm fucking him up with these claymores like no joke on. Boom! Oh, he's already... Shit, move, 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 move. Whew. These claymores are working like a fucking charm. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill him with all claymores. Wow. I'm, I'm so glad I haven't used, like, any of my claymores. These claymores are fucking beast mode. Because he's gonna run into another one. Ah, uh, uh, sucks to be you, bro. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Got him. Oh my god, Claymores! The key to victory! Fucking Claymores. Are you kidding me right now? Just as the boss said, it is my oh, beautiful. Which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In Quote the raven, way, never I more. Turn to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. <laughs> take this security card. Door. So is that going to be number seven? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes.
What is that this? guy? Let me guess. That was actually was yeah. It was decoy before. octopus, correct? It was decoy octopus. Of course. Of that I already figured out. Too late, Vulcan Raven. But I guess they have to spell it out for people who didn't skies. get that already. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. Oh, is that how it works? Strange. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there is no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. You are the ravens are eating him to death? What are you trying to say? That's crazy. The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. Damn, he got fucking ate to death by ravens oh I see his body won't be there because the ravens will eat it and take it somewhere else and go shit it out in the world I guess we're gonna finish this off with a phone call Snake. from the master me. master it's about Naomi turn your monitor off what about Naomi <sighs> colonel is Naomi there no she's away she's taking a short nap mm. so what is this about Naomi Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this, too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi well, Hunter. Here we go. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. So she's like Decoy she's Octopus. Not the, woman we know. the real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So and became her, like really, Decoy Octopus. She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either. But she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether different group it couldn't be place her under arrest what she's betrayed us she needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with if she's one of their spies then we're in big trouble what do you mean uh, nothing have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something yep you know he did does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president <laughs> I, I have no idea anyway we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission wait wait a minute without her we can't complete this mission I knew it you're hiding something give me some time I'll try to get it out of her hurry then we've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here I understand Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. <laughs> oh, suck on that one, Chief. I don't. I ain't got no time for that. Ain't got no time. So, anyways, how did you like my fucking handling of Vulcan Raven? I'm impressed by myself. Hell yeah, can't handle my claymores. I can't even believe claymores worked like a fucking charm. I don't know if I would have, like, ran into trouble otherwise, but you guys probably would have, like, suggested claymores since I had them. And they were clearly the way to go. There, I can't imagine there, have being, there being a better way to go there. Because leading him into explosions that he can't avoid 
what better possible thing could you have done? That was just beautiful. Anyways, I do want to end the episode right here, but I want to go to the next screen so I can start at the next screen. That's how this game works when you save and quit. Oh, man. Lots of gun turrets and cameras in the next room. We'll be using lots of chaff grenades. But anyways, so, one member of Foxhound left. O Revolver Ocelot. Well, assuming that Liquid Snake isn't dead either. He's probably not dead based on what we've seen so far. But we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, let's call Mei Ling, who I haven't called in a while, because this is my third Naomi episode back to back to back that I've recorded. No, but anyways. I just can't believe that Naomi's an enemy spy. I refuse to accept that. I don't want to believe it either, but... Don't say it, Snake. You have to believe it, Mei Ling. You have to. But anyways, this is the first time I've saved it today, which, which is a good thing, because I've done a lot. Anyways. Alright, so... That's going to conclude this episode of Metal Gear Solid. Next time, we'll try and get some more further into this game. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen next, but I have a feeling it's going to involve lots more crazy plot devices. See you guys then. Peace.